This is the preliminary part of Bakashi composting, and this is a kind of an important step. You do this, you can do this part every day. What you will need is a uh, ice cream container or something with a nice sealable lid that'll hold oh a gallon. Gallon ice cream container is fine. Okay, I'll, we'll remove this one. We tend to like the square one. It's gotten a little nicer lid. Okay, now all you have to do is put a little layer of Bokashi in the bottom of your bucket. Not a lot. This is not even, this is even optional. You don't really need to do this. It helps this bucket from smelling a little bit. Helps it pre-compost it. And that's enough. And then after that, you can add uh, your table scraps, uh, bones, dairy, everything you would normally compost, uh, kitchen scraps, and it should take about a week. It takes us a week for a family of two to fill the preliminary composting bucket. After you put food scraps in, you should mash it down with your uh, a potato masher you can get anywhere for pretty cheap. Then when that bucket's full at the end of a week, you'll pull it, put it in your main composter. Okay, we're going to provide a link to another guy's video where we learned how to make this. This is a main fermenter. It's a five-gallon bucket from a hardware store or wherever. Uh, uh, it's, just, it's a standard bucket. It has a spigot. You need to collect the juices or the tea every day, every day, because that stuff smells. That's where you get your smell from. So drain the tea every day. I don't care what you do with it. I throw mine down the toilet, down the sink. Uh, as far as spraying plants with it, I just don't, wouldn't don't think so. Okay, now it's a standard bucket with a gamma seal. Here's the gamma lid. Screws right down there, makes a nice airtight seal. Now, you need a, uh, you need a grit guard, okay? Those are used in auto detailing to uh, uh, keep your sponge out of the water. It's fit nicely, neatly down there. And then you put a, the grit guard will not work in uh, the white buckets. They're used in the colored buckets from your hardware store. Maybe you buy your grit guard first and then buy your bucket so you can take your bucket back but it don't fit. Okay, then you put on a piece of paper. That's to keep the Bokashi from falling down in. Then you put your food scraps, your Bokashi will go through all that, and your food scraps. And then you'll put on a weight, an uh, inner seal made from a piece of cardboard and a plastic bag. See, it'll be, well, okay. okay. It'll end up looking like this. That's for an inner seal to uh, make it a little bit more airtight. And on top of that, put a simple weight of any kind. We use an old thrift store pot lid. You can use a plate. You can use some rocks, anything you want. Just weight it down a little bit. Don't worry about it too much. And then when you've got your material in there, simply seal the lid. Remember to... Drain the tea every day. This is a ice cream bucket. We put our scraps in for a good week. We do this every Monday. Uh, you want to open the box of a... Uh, it has a good sealed lid. And you can see this is scraps for a... Uh, a good week. It's uh, the two normal table scraps. Here we have our main fermenter. It's got a gamma lid on it. Okay, now we're going to put our table scraps in the main fermenter. We only do this once a week so that no air gets in the fermenter. The lid seals fairly tight.
Okay. And here we have a plate to hold it down. And a piece of cardboard with a shopping bag wrapped around to press on the food waste. The food waste you're seeing is a, roughly a month and a half. There is no smell, maybe a faint pickly odor, odor but uh, no real smell. To start um, filling again with our new batch of table scraps, first we put in a little layer of uh, cup grabs and eggshells. It's like mushrooms, it just gives it a uh, media to grow in. Okay, bye. If you want okay, it's just a little layer of uh, coffee grounds and eggshell. We only do this to give it a little. Uh, like mushrooms like to grow in coffee grounds, so it's uh, for that. Okay, now you put in some, uh, or we do anyway, some Bokashi brand. Hold it up the bag a little bit. Bokashi brand. Okay, a bag like that should last about three months. It's about two pounds. Okay, you just need a little nice little hand pull. It's only once a week. That's pretty good. Okay, now we, uh, that's good. <laughs> now we, uh, now we add our table scraps. Now we add our table scraps. That's our good week's worth. By adding a little bokashi to our ice cream bucket, it does, that doesn't smell either. So what we're doing here, I know you can't smell it, it's not a smelly process. Now we spread it out a little bit. And, uh, spread out a little bit and we mash it down. Let's keep a lot of the air out. Once we have it mashed down. You even put uh, cupcake paper in there. Yeah, cupcake papers. There's some chicken bones. There's just a normal week's worth of stuff. There's a little meat scrap, I suppose, because we have some chicken. Okay, now we put on another layer of uh, coffee grounds. That's just to give the Picasso something to work at. And, that's not necessary, but something we do. Okay. We gotta get rid of the coffee grounds anyway. Okay, now we add a little more bokashi again. The bokashi brand, you can buy it or make your own. About two pounds will last you about three months under normal circumstances. Now, the bokashi brand has a nice smell to it when it hits the coffee grounds. That smells, actually, actually it smells good. You would think it was sick. Okay, now we put our cardboard with our chopping bag on it again to create a uh, somewhat airtight seal to give something rest. Well, okay, we press that down. Press it down a little better. All around. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, and then we put our weight back on. We seal it back up again. And we are done for a week. We already drained the tea this morning. That's very important to every day. And uh, there the Bokashi is good for another week. When it's completely full, we will empty it out into our garden.